Welcome back to Fair Game. I'm here with four-time NBA champion and three-time NBA Finals MVP Shaquille O'Neal. All right, a lot of guys, when they retire, have a hard time figuring out what they're going to do to keep them busy. For you, it's no secret that you are a businessman. Has that filled the void for you? Or was there ever even a void? It's always a void because it's all about fulfilling challenges. So almost didn't have a plan because I retired a year too early. Hmm. So I went to Boston on a two-year deal. Mm -hmm. uh, I know it was at the end of my career, so I was just going to play with Paul and the guys just to see if I could help. But on the last year, I was going to do the whole Shaq tour thing. Had it set up. Party and every, we had the promoter in every city. Had it all set up. Mm -hmm. Shaq tour in every city. Make a little money on the side, you know, appearances and parties and all that stuff. Had a career-ending injury. I said to myself, I'm old. I don't want to do the whole rehab thing and try to be the great Shaq player. Because one thing I am by myself is I'm honest. I'm Shaq, but I'm not Shaq. Okay. Shaq is not Shaq when he's averaging seven, eight, nine points. That's not Shaq. Mm -hmm. I can still entertain and do stuff to make people giggle, but that's not Shaq. I'm robbing the people. I'm robbing the Celtics. You're only paying me a million. I don't feel right. I'm not coming back. Here's your money back, sir. Thank you very much. That's just crazy to hear you say. I'm, That's I'm where honest. I met you. I worked for the Celtics here last so year. I'm honest. If we were to ask any of the Celtics people, which I still know to this day, they would not for a second say that you robbed them. I know, but I, in, in my mind, like I'm, I'm used to parades and banners and making people complain to the refs and making people say, oh, we played against Shaq. I don't want to play tonight. That's what I want to be remembered as. And growing up in that military family, father said, you always got to look a man or a woman in the face and be honest. And I felt like I was robbing him. I, don't, I didn't feel right. Like, Doc told me when I come in, he said, we're not going to need you to do much. Just rebound. And, and I accepted it. I said, OK. I just wanted to try to, I was ring chasing, to be honest. Really? Oh, uh, yeah. I was ring chasing. They had a chance that year. We did. And I, I think if I, if I wouldn't have got hurt, and I think if they would have kept Perkins, I, I, I definitely think we could have won. I was ring chasing, I really was. But I wanted to, I wanted to help Paul because Paul was one of my favorite players, and I love KG. So I wanted yeah. to play with them, come do all I can just to help them get one. It'd be number five for me, and that's what I was, I was trying to do. I said, okay, I got four. Just let me try to go play with you know a couple of teams, stack the deck, see what I can do. But I didn't feel right. Six points, eight points, nine points. You know, I, I did what I did, got acclimated with the city, worked hard, you know, and, and Boston is a town where they appreciate it when you work hard. Mm -hmm. They saw that I was giving it, giving it my all. Oh, yeah. They, they knew that. And so when I uh, tore my Achilles and Danny said, hey, man, I want you to come back, I was like, I felt like I was robbing them. Mm -hmm. I could have took the little 1-5 and did the little, you know, six months and tried to come back, but no, I don't want to waste people's time. You know, take the 1-5 and... See if you can, you know, get get you another player, somebody better. But the only thing I regret about that is I wanted the farewell tour. Because I can remember yeah. watching the farewell Abdul Jabbar tour. And I was like, wow. I, I wasn't saying I wanted that, but it was just so beautiful. It was just so nice to just go around the city and hear people step, tell stories. And I know in every arena there's a story to tell about Shaquille O'Neal. I wanted that. Yeah. I did. I, I want that, that for you. I did. I wanted that. So, like, when I was seeing D Wade and Dirk and yeah. the other tour, I was like, that hurt. So, I said, okay, let me, let me take a year off. Because, based on what I was doing, I knew I had, I knew I had stuff to fall back on. Mm -hmm. Like, I always wanted to do, do a restaurant in LA. So, I'm, I'm down in LA Live, and I was like, vacant? Oh. <laughs> That's mine. Yeah, how much? Okay, cool. Pay the rent off for a year, let it sit. I didn't even have a plan for that restaurant. No? No, but I, I was like, let me, because I, I called a realtor, I said, hey, how much? All right, we don't need to go check. I'm going to pay it off for the year. Hey, your voice sounds familiar. Yeah, you're Shaq. Oh. <laughs> you called yourself? Yes, I called myself, and he's like, you Shaq, I love you. I'm not going to charge you full price since, you, since you're going to pay it off for the year. I'll give you 15% off. I would appreciate that, sir. So now, okay, go in here. What's the competition like? Hmm, all right. All right. Across the street, all right. I already got five restaurants in Vegas, so I'm in the restaurant business. So sure. we put our guys together. I got the space. 
do what y'all do. And we came and was like, won't you, won't you name me Shaquille? I'm like, what if people don't like me? They're still going to eat there. I know, but I'm just saying, I, I, like, to, I like to go left and right. <laughs> what if they don't like That's big of you to know, though. I'd rather I, the business succeed than to have my name exactly. on it. Exactly. That's, that's amazing. Yeah. So I was like, I was like, no, we're naming it this. And that's it. And it's been very, very successful. So when I was young, I used to get punished for every athlete's mistake. Punished hard. If you made a mistake? No, if an, a professional athlete made a mistake. Then you would get punished? Yes. What do you mean? Because my father would always come in and start my discipline off, if you ever. Oof. Right, so if you ever hit a woman, I'll kill you. Go to the room. The worst spanking I got ever was Lynn Bias. You know what Lynn Bias mm -hmm. is? So my father came in the house fuming. He had tears in his eye because he was a sports guy, and every young kid that made it was his son. And the reason why he felt that way, because he was already raising other people's sons. He was a drill sergeant. Mm -hmm. So he get 18, 19 year olds, and he was raising them. So when you get a kid that come from the same area that's made to the NBA, that's his son. So when Lynn Bias passed away, oh, if you ever do drugs, I will kill you. And that's why I don't, I don't do drugs or drink. Mm -hmm. If you ever drink and drive, so that's, so, I was able to learn from everybody's mistakes sure. and be able to sit back and add it to my character and just try to, you know. And your business approach. And my business approach. Yeah. Check out our YouTube channel, Fair Game on FS1 to catch all the best highlights of our show. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button so you never miss an episode.